Welcome back into Sports Sunday. Let's head to the prep level for some Thursday night football in the Division 5 section quarterfinals. 12 Bridges hosting Rosemont. Pick up the action in the first quarter. Whit Cruz. Check him out. All six, six of them. Hits Isaiah Rodriguez, gets a block, makes one miss. He's in for the score. Two-point conversion good. Raging Rhinos up eight nada. Rosemont looking to respond. Pitch to Michael Cherry. Sees his hole, he's gone. Cherry on top, the score, baby. 8-7, Bridges still with the lead. The Raging Rhinos, they've been raging all season and they show no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Cruz with time, and what a ball to Jacob Baxley. Gives the all stiff arm, tight ropes the sideline. See ya. He's in for the score. 12 Bridges runs away with it, downing Rosemont to advance. 67-25. For more on 12 Bridges, we welcome in a couple of Raging Rhinos playmakers because nobody can talk about their success better than themselves, right? Head coach Chris Bean, quarterback Wick Cruz here in the building, a running back Nathan Crawford, a big time baller, and then a guy who plays both sides, Anthony Gallagher in the building. Guys, thanks so much for joining us for Red Zone Chat. We're so stoked to have you guys in. We've been trying to get you in all season long, but congratulations on being undefeated on the year, coach. What a turnaround of a season. You guys went from 7-5 and five just a year ago, had a little bit of an early exit out of the playoffs, but now you guys are undefeated sitting at 11-0. How did you guys do it? Uh, I think in the offseason, we've talked a lot about this. They went from juniors to seniors, and you cannot put a price on the fact that a year in the weight room, year lifting, getting in shape, a uh, year under our system one more time, um, and the fact that they love football. Mm. These guys love football. They love each other. They love the program. Um, and we're just blessed right now to be in the semifinals of the, the section section playoff race. It's been a lot of fun. Wait, can we just make sure we get this right? How tall are you? <laughs> six foot six. On a good day, right? He said it with his chest, too. Yeah, he, he, said with his chest. he did. He said it with his chest. Well, 19 tutties through the air this year. You've been crushing and cruising because of your old line. Great running attack, though. But what's been leading to your success this year? Um, yeah, well, obviously my O-line, of course. Um, and we have a lot of super talented guys. Carl's always out there for, for my check down, like third or fourth of my progression. So I, I hit him on a lot of those. Um, Anthony over here too, Isaiah Rodriguez, you know, Wooster, Jacob Baxley, a lot of amazing targets that I can throw to. Um, yeah, but personally, on a more personal level, what's been helping me is really just taking practice like, like like practice how you play. Mm -hmm. Like you heard Justin Herbert say that one time. Um, and I kind of like took that to heart and thought about it. And I was like, yeah, that's what could really help me. So kind of like trying to ball out and practice as much as I can and act like it's a game. And that's been helping a lot. So. Yeah. I love that. Same here. Great. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your star running back over here. Over a thousand yards rushing for you. Thirty-five tutties on the season. Like this is insane. And I just need to know, like, take us through what you're eating. What are you lifting? Like, who is making your food? Is, no. Is mom spending like a thousand dollars at the grocery store each week? She does make a lot of food, actually. Yeah. Yeah. How much fun are you having out there on the gridiron? Oh, it's so much fun. Just just to be able to do it with all of your boys and you know some of these kids that we've been playing football with since sixth fifth grade you know it's just awesome to continue the race with all these guys so yeah gotta love that Anthony you've been doing your thing on offense and on defense but defensive side of the ball you're the league MVP why has that been the kind of the staple for you guys this year making sure that defense leads to offense you know like when we're on defense we got to make key stops for our guys you know like they're it's huge plays you know we go against good teams that have a great defense and like they have great offenses too and like defenses need to come in and make big plays for offense to make big plays like that's that's one of just key like that yeah got it love that love that mm -hmm. so you guys have a big one coming up next week uh, section semis y'all got los baños what do you guys need to do what's the message that maybe coach is giving you guys to make sure that you guys stay alive and a chance to win a state championship yeah um well first of all and most importantly we have to take every day seriously because playing a great team like this, you need to have like all four or five days of practice like like spot on. Like mm. we need we need to work really hard and, and get mentally right, mm -hmm. know all of our stuff. Um, 
because we have a very worthy appointment opponent that we are playing. Attention to detail, coach. Yep. Very much so. Yeah, I mean, going back to what 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 said. I mean, just we we say win the day. It's been used before, but <laughs> um, it makes sense with our kids. Yeah, you you have a tendency, especially when people are telling you how good you are, yeah. uh, to to overlook people. Um, there's no overlook in Los Benos. Yeah. These guys are for real. Um, 11 and one. They are legit. Great quarterback. Defense has been stellar. So. This is this is going to be a great game on a Friday night in front of our fans at 12 Bridges High School. That student section going to get lit, right, guys? Oh, yeah. of course. <laughs> You're ready for it. All right. Up. Hey, guys, yep. best of luck moving forward this season. We hope you get the playoff win section finals next week. But we appreciate you coming on Red Zone. Thank Jeff, you so much for having us. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, thank you guys. guys. 7 p.m. kickoff if y'all can make it. If not, of course, we'll have your highlights right here on CBS 13.